almost two weeks after the federal government of Nigeria announced the total closure of its land borders with the Niger Republic. The action and other sanctions imposed on Niger by ECOWAS and its closest neighbor uh, were intended to compel the military junta in part to restore civil rule. But the total shutdown is also negatively impacting on the means of livelihood of residents in these border communities as many loaded trailers of perishable items like dates and tiger nuts are stranded between the border. Steve says Abdul Latif Yusuf takes a look at the possible losses to being caught, uh, incurred rather, by traders and how it will affect the overall price of commodities. One can hardly quantify the volume of goods which passes through this major border between Nigeria and Niger Republic daily, satisfying consumer demands of households from the both sides. Nigeria largely depends on import of dates, tiger nuts and some Arabian spices from Niger Republic to meet the daily demands of such items. Nigeria in return supplies maize, sorghum, millet and other varieties of cereals. But everything is now a standstill, with vehicles loaded to capacity trapped on between the Nigerian and Nigerian border in Jibia. This trader is a major dealer in dates and tiger nuts and is among owners of these trucks trapped for days. He fears the increasing rains, moisture and warmth being generated from the bottom of the container will have damaged more than half of the items. This has also triggered a gradual return of stealing and snatching in broad daylight. Already, the situation has rendered redundant drivers, loaders and many youths that earns a daily living from these trading activities. It is a very complicated situation for both countries who are losing a lot economically to this border closure. Already, the prices of dates and tiger nuts have gone through the roof and drinks made with tiger nuts and dates are becoming more expensive daily. The chairman Senate Committee on Customs was also in GBR to interact with the people to find workable solutions to, to multiple crises in the border areas. Dance, uh, during and after closure of the border. That one will be resolved with the federal government maybe tonight or next week. Things will become normal. Thank you. As the ECOWAS continued to explore possible ways to resolve its standoff with military junta in Niger, residents of border communities who are the one feeling the bond pray that normalcy will return soon. Behind me, a lined up of vehicles that have crossed from Niger trying to enter Nigeria, but due to the border closure, have remained here for days. And this will not change until the federal government lifts the ban on the border closure. From Zivia Border, Abdul Latif Yusuf reporting. A group of Southwest youths under the umbrella of the All Progressives Congress is calling on President Bola Tinubu to consider an additional ministerial slot for your state. The youth group made this demand through a communique issued at the end of a meeting held in Ibado, the your state capital. Olaido Iwali has more. Just recently, the Nigerian Senate completed the screening process for a combined total of 48 ministerial nominees, all of whom were put forth by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The process unfolded with varying patterns as certain states received multiple nominations. While a couple of states witnessed two nominations each, others had two, and a few states received only a single nomination. To mobilize youth support across the country. These youths want the president to take into consideration one of their leaders from the recently dissolved APC Presidential Campaign Committee. The family believe he played a pivotal role in rallying the Southwest youth during the last presidential election. The group who commended President Bola Tinubu for his decision to select Adebayo Adelabu of the Accord Party in the state believes it will also not be out of place to consider a loyal member of the party as a minister. While we are full of praises and can not query the prerogative of our president, Ashiwadu Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, for this choice, we are also saying that it is not out of place if a local, if a loyal, I beg your pardon, party member 
and highly cerebral intelligent technocrats who worked around the clock to mobilize youth support across the country for the success of our leaders, of our, of our leader, presidential bid is rewarded with, a, with this ministerial appointment. In his response, the chairman of the APC Reconciliation Committee in Oyo State asked the youth to be patient with the new administration, assuring them that their demands would be looked into by the president. A laborer is deserving of his wages. You deserve to say what you want. The president is our father. He's going to listen to you. He's going to consider what you want. And I bring you good tidings. They believe that their demand serves as a testament to their determination to actively shape the future of the country. Oladio Yowale, TVC News, Ibadan.